All right, in this part of your orientation, we are going to be covering your monitor panel. The monitor panel controls most of your motorhome. This is going to control your slide rooms, your air conditioners, your furnace. It also holsters two remote controls. You have a remote control for a fantastic vent in the ceiling above the kitchen. And you also have this nifty little remote control here that covers your slide rooms and your porch light. If you ever notice that your porch light is on, this button on the remote control actually overrides the switch at the entry door. So if you can't shut your porch light off with the switch at your entry door, you might want to go to your remote control, press that button one time, and then go back to your porch light switch and turn it off and see if that gets you through it. Other than that, you're going to press zero four times to enter the controls of the remote. You have lights, generator, awnings, and then slide rooms and a second awning. It says awning too. That's actually the rear awning over the deck of your garage. You can run both of your slide rooms in and out. So if you're in a tight space and you're not sure if your slide room is gonna make contact with something like a tree or something, you can come grab your nifty remote control, walk outside and watch the slide room go in and out as you have the remote in your hand. Coming above your remotes here, we've got your two thermostats. They both correspond with the air conditioners on the roof. The front thermostat will cover the front air conditioner. The rear thermostat will cover the rear air conditioner. You have an on off mode button. This button is actually how you control all the features on your thermostat. Fan mode is a very important feature to understand. Fan mode has auto, high, and low, and you can control that with plus and minus. If you leave the fan mode in auto and then turn on your air conditioner, once your air conditioner achieves temperature and the thermostat is satisfied, the air conditioner will shut down and so will the fan because the fan is in auto. If you enjoy sound or if you sleep better with sound at night, you might want to go ahead and change it from auto to high or low and then go back to your air conditioner feature. Once the thermostat is satisfied and it shuts down the air conditioner, the fan will continue to run as long as you have the fan mode in high or low. Once you're ready to use the furnace, you just go down to furnace and select the desired temperature and that's all that's necessary. Now the rear thermostat does not control a furnace. You only have one furnace on this unit. So I want you to understand that this only does the rear air conditioner and the rear fan for the rear air conditioner. Directly above your thermostats here, we actually have your true monitor panel. This is where you're gonna read the levels of all of your tanks. You have an LPG, which is liquid propane gas. You have a battery button. As long as you are driving or plugged in or your generator is on, your batteries are going to read full. If you ever want to get an accurate reading on your batteries, turn everything off, turn the battery disconnect off that we covered earlier, give it one hour, and then turn your disconnect on and come in and press this and that will tell you what the state of your batteries are. You have a fresh tank level sensor. This is for your onboard freshwater holding tank that we covered outside through gravity fill. The black tank is your sewage tank. And then the gray tank here is your sinks and showers. Next to that we have your generator start stop feature again with an hour meter. As long as the generator is running it will tell you how many hours are, have been applied to the generator. Basically how many hours it's ran for. You want to service the generator at every 150 hour increment. Directly below the generator feature we have your slide rooms. Slide 1 and slide 2. Slide 2 does your front living room which is the largest slide room. I'm going to press extend now. Once again you never run the slide rooms until you have done the auto level feature. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and run the next slide. This is for your bedroom. When you are running these slide rooms, you will 
press and hold the extend or retract button and you will let go after the motors shut off by themselves. On these types of slide rooms, you do not typically want to let go of the button until it has completed the extension or retracting process. Now you also have water heater controls, okay? So you have a LP gas water heater control, and then you have a 110 volt water heater control. This is gonna come from your generator or your shoreline power cord. So anytime you're camping at a campground with, that offers power, you're gonna wanna use your electric feature. Now if it's very cold outside and you need hot water fast, obviously if you use gas, it's gonna get hotter quicker. Notice there is a pilot out and a little LED light right here. What that means is you're, for example, if you have your water heater on, on gas, and the water heater flame blows out for any reason, it's going to automatically try to reignite. This reignition process is, will happen over a period of three minutes. If it fails to light over this period of three minutes, you're going to get this light on. What the process to do after that happens is you want to shut this off and go over to the range, which we are going to cover in a moment, and you want to burn the fuel off at the range. If you see yellow flames that are dancing very violently, that is actually oxygen burning out of the propane. Once the flames turn blue and become steady, then you want to come back to your switch and turn it on. You should have no issues after that. 